Okay, last month I started a creative challenge to be creative each month. Try a new technique. So I bought this fabric a couple years ago. I don't know, I just loved it. I love blue and black and white. And then Hollywood. Cool. I worked in Hollywood for a long time. So I was going through my fabric and came across this again. And I was like, gosh, I gotta make a skirt out of this. <laughs> I actually bought it too because I have a friend that I wanted to make this skirt for. So I'm probably gonna make it and then give it to her after I wear it once. Because <laughs> I actually have to go to Los Angeles for um, our Costume Designer Guild meeting and a couple other meetings. And I thought this would be really fun if I could come up with a skirt on here. And this is the only piece I have. So I have, um, I'm gonna do my challenge for February in making, using panels, using fabric panels. And I had, about a couple years ago when the Van Gogh exhibit was out, I made skirts for the Van Gogh exhibit using, these are panels right here, and I put them and teamed them up with this penne velvet and made skirts out of these. And then my friend, Stacy came with me and I made her a skirt Whoa. with this one. So, so you can, panels are such a great way to add creativity to your clothes. I actually just came across this one. I bought it, I got it in the mail yesterday. It's a big map, like a nautical map. I don't know what to do with it, but it feels, it feels good too. So I think if I found the right colors, this would make a great skirt like that. But, um, so challenge is what to do with this panel it came to me yesterday i'm gonna do the rosy skirt again that's the rosy skirt yes. it's a rectangle like this <laughs> and it has been the best skirt pattern because i buy these unusual fabrics and it's like what do you do with them and the rosy skirt has just man i just i have about 10 of them or more wow. that fabric there too is, has like the lace trim on it i saw that and i was like well, that's interesting. That was a fabric I bought in Fancy Gap, Virginia. And I did a video on the fabric store too, so you should check out that, um, that store. I'll leave a card up here for Fancy Gap Fabric Stores, Virginia. I don't know, something like that. But, um, so this is the challenge. Now, I mapped this out. <laughs> so this is actually what the rosy pattern looks like. There's like an oval kind of dip here, and then this is the skirt, and then it lays down like that. So I have a big one here. And I copied it off of a child's skirt that I've had in my um, stash of ideas for a long time. And it was a little tiny skirt. And I thought, I'm going to make this into an adult. And I did. But this is the print. So it says Hollywood. And then it's part of the camera. And then it says California here. And there's a palm tree. And then it has little stars on it. So I have to cut a hole in this. <laughs> but I also have this Sapima fabric and I know I'm on the right track when I have this scrap of P Sapima fabric in this weird shape. So it's got this and this, you know, little extension part right here and it fits, I mapped it all out exactly what I need. Oh my gosh. And I love Sapima fabric. It's glossy, soft cotton and it just, and it's rich black. So right here, what I'm going to do is this is the panel and right here is the black and the black right here. So it's going to be kind of like a patchwork, but not, I'm just going to seam it. And then on the, so the back side, the front side is the palm trees here. And then that whole print there. And then the back side is part of the print and then a black border. And then the black border comes from around here. And then, of course, I also have enough fabric in there for a black yoke, which is just going to be on here. And then I'm going to take the stars. Now, this is all ideas now. Things change as you're going, right? But, and that's the beauty of sewing your own clothes. But all these little stars here that are around here, I'm just going to, um, I just did some stenciling. I'm going to make some little stencil stars and paint stars on the, on the yoke. Cool. This could be a cute skirt. Now, I leave uh, for California my first trip. This is the one I want to wear here. Actually, I'll wear it both trips, and then I'll give it to my friend. <laughs> Maybe
Maybe we'll give it to my friend if I really like it. I don't know. Um, I leave in like a week and a half, so I have to um, get on this. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, do a challenge yourself. Look for panels. Go to the fabric stores. Lot of, there are a lot of quilt at the quilt stores. And look on there and just check out fabric panels and see what kind of beautiful prints are there. And then make a rosy skirt. I also have the rosy skirt a PDF for you too. So I'll put that in the link below and uh, you can make the rosy skirt too. There's so many variations of doing it. I'm actually writing a book on this skirt. So, and actually the Betty skirt and the rosy skirt. So look for that in uh, 2050. <laughs> so it's going slow right now anyway. But let's make this skirt.